What's up guys, it's your boy Mike Davis, aka Funny Mikey. I'm back here once again. In this video, I'm going to do a, um, a new podcast. Sadly, I'm not studio due to the pandemic. So I'm going to make this in, you know, in the comfort of my own home. And what we're going to talk about is the my review of the Avengers, Xbox Series X, PS5, and upcoming updates of the channel. Avengers, um... It's kind of hard to review. It's I would say it's okay of a game. And why I give it the okay because it's um, it's see I I can't even have words to describe um like as you can see you see shots and. It looks like a beautiful game. See, you see shots of me, you know, playing as Captain America and such and so on and so on. And so, yeah, like like I said, it's a beautiful looking game. Played it. And, um, then there goes the bugs. This game has a lot of glitches and bugs but it seems that they trying to update it and patch it so i guess you know but they should have did that from the beginning i mean they announced this um like three years ago but i enjoyed the game i enjoyed the story of the game you know but it's a good game, more or less. Like, should you get it? Maybe if you're a Marvel fan or you're just a casual fan. Not only that, you can play it with friends online. It's also an online game. To me, it feels like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but with much more detailed graphics, basically. And, um... Uh... See, I have no words for this game, because... I was really excited for this game as soon as it out. I was hyped, but now it's just like, and not only that, the missions it it gets kind of repetitive. Some of the game, I mean, games, some of the missions are very similar to each other, where you just gotta go save these Inhumans, go save Shield Inhuman, I mean, yeah, Shield agents. Do this, do that, and destroy this. Download this data. You know, they're all the same, but just different locations. And it's just like, eh, I guess you can give us something more. Give us, try to expand on the universe, which I see they're trying to do, just like what they did with Spider-Man PS4. You know, that's another com game company, Insomniac. But I see what they're trying to do there. Take their own spin on the Marvel Universe. Sally, this is not a part of the Spider-Man PS4 universe, but hey, oh well, you know, they want to have their own take on characters, so I understand that instead of being attracted to other characters. I mean, each character feels different. I mean, sadly, as the gameplay goes, you can't switch like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. You can't switch between characters on a mission. As soon as you choose that character, you have to stay as that character until the mission is over, which I kind of don't like. It'd be better if you can keep you on switching. Like, it's I want to try this character. I want to try that character. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of glitches. Best. Like, look at Captain America's face as he talks. Place, like, no you can really see the bugs Jarvis and glitches in this video. Where he's, I'm just like, ew. And if yeah, it, it takes too long to load sometimes. Like, hours. this game has a couple, a lot of problems. Temporarily. Which so we'll they should have known better from the beginning. But let's see in the future how this game goes. And hopefully, I see they're trying to set up a future of this game. So, hopefully they do better at the next time. Oh no, I think the story was great. You know, spoiler ahead if you didn't play the game. So, um, it seems that the Avengers are together. They've been together for a while. And something happened on a day at the West Coast of San Francisco. So... It turns out everything went 
bad during the helicarrier with Cap. They thought Cap was dead. Everybody blames the Avengers for this um, event. So, they disbanded. Everybody thinks Cap is dead. Such and so on, so on. So, Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, has to, with her abilities, try to regroup the Avengers and stop AIM. And everybody thinks Modoc is a bad guy, but he really isn't. The real bad guy is uh, Monica. She's the real bad guy. She's trying to improve the world through science and all, but the way she's doing it is terrible to the Inhumans. I see what you're thinking. George is just like a part of a little plan and scheme that she what she trying to do, which is crazy. And you actually feel for George, like he's trying to prove the world, but. Like, again, he's doing the wrong way, so I kind of see where he's coming from. You can't actually understand for the character a little bit, but not to that much of an extent. So, yeah, um, I pretty much enjoyed the game. It was good while it lasted. Uh, I still play it from time to time, trying to play it to get more skins, you know, make them stronger. So the missions they have for you... Like, you really gotta keep playing this game, because the enemies they throw at you is just endless and endless and waves and robots, and you just gotta... You really need to get gear and level up your characters, because either that or you can play online with stronger characters. Because it's, it's, it's insane with how much enemies they throw at you, especially when you have to hack um, computers or try to destroy a certain item. Or even rescuing teammates and stuff. It's just too much enemies at you. But you know, this is a team up game. So I guess, what are you going to expect? It's not like Spider-Man or whatnot. Each character feels different. Which I kind of like. And, like, they really nailed it on it. Like, Iron Man flying with his lasers and repulsors. Hulk, his brute strength. Black Widow with her agility. Same thing with Cap with his shield. You do a lot of combos with that. Thor with his might and hammer. Yomir. And Kamala Khan. You know, she can do a lot with her, um, what's it called? Polymorph abilities. Which I really enjoy. And they really know how each, they keep on saying that each character will feel different. None of them will feel the same, which I totally agree what they did so it's really fun to switch it up change what this character could do on this mission what that character could do on that mission they really did a great job on this game when it came down to the core of the characters and when you look at them fight you can tell they took stuff from the movies from the mcu because most of the movies are from the movies you can actually look it up on youtube where someone actually Posted side to side of characters doing the moves from the movies the, <laughs> the exact same way, which is crazy.
logic and reason. Why start now? Wait! No! Stuff was in there! How are you feeling? I've never felt better. Your synthetics were useless. If you'd let me deal with the Hulken Khan earlier, the Archive would still be standing. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Are you done rambling? Oh, oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Crazy clip, right? All right, let's go on to our next news, though. Our next news is going to be the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Now, me, I already pre-ordered my PlayStation 5, which is crazy because everything else is sold out. And it was just kind of messed up because Sony didn't say anything about um it was going to be out after pre-order when they did the whole announcement and I mean their showcase, so it's already sold out. So people are gonna have to wait until they do more. Xbox Series X, I'm definitely pre-ordering that when that comes out. I just can't wait to get the games. Hopefully, y'all yeah, pre-order it. Um, pre-order for Xbox Series X will come out November. No, no, November, September twenty-second. So don't forget to get that. As for games. I am super excited for PlayStation's 5 um, release of the Spider-Man Miles Morales. I am very excited for that game. Um, Halo Infinite for the Xbox Series X. That looks beautiful in 4K TV, especially since I got a 4K TV. Um, I'm interested for both. I'm tired of this whole console wars thing. You know, I'm not a, you know, big, you know little kid I'm like oh this console is better than that. I'm, I'm getting both obviously so i'll tell y'all what i'm also going to do an unboxing video so i'm also going to do that soon they drop it's gonna it's gonna be live for me to get those two consoles so i can't really wait but um yeah both got good gpu power teraflops um tbs you know a good amount of storage to download games because y'all know they're going to have tons and tons of like gigabytes to download so yeah better be ready get your get your wallets out <laughs> and last but not least um these are going to be the upcoming projects i'm doing i'm working on a script i'm i will say i'm halfway done and once I'm doing it, I'm filming it, and I'm going to post it on my channel to see how y'all like it. And I'm also making a cartoon series and posting on the channel. Um, It's called, the movie is called Funny Mikey, but it's not going to be based on my life. Like, I'm still working on the info on it, and Sonic Team, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm doing that. I'm making a cartoon series based on that. So, I think... It'll be interesting to me to expand my skills to do these two things. 
and I hope y'all enjoy it. And if it really, like, if it really blows up, I'm also going to post more and more content on the channel, you know, see where this goes, see where this takes me as long, because I'm also doing other stuff on the side to help me um pursue my career, as you can say. So, yeah, that's about it. Like, I had to keep this um podcast short because I'm kind of a little busy today, as you can see. Um, well, you can't really see, but you know, um, yeah, I'm working on a lot of stuff. Like, I'm still developing the script and whatnot. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going through my personal life. So. I will be posting more stuff on the channel. I keep on saying that. It's not that much content, but I will be posting stuff on the channel. I'll I'll try to. So don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, share if y'all could, you know, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.